Hey, um, uh, I don't really know what I wanted to get out as far as a topic for this one, but, um, I think this one's just going to be kind of me just talking. It's one of those days where I kind of feel like I need to just get stuff out. But, uh, yeah, today's, it's not bad or anything, but for whatever reason, I've been really, I don't know seems like it's been kind of a depressing day, and I'm not just saying that because it was raining earlier, and actually it's not raining now, but it was for the first time in a long time, I was actually sad today, and that comes as an alien thing to me. You know, I've had my fair share of sad moments and whatever, but I actually felt it today. Like, it was noticeable. I, I can pick it out of all the different things that was going on. I can just tell, like, I just didn't feel good about today. And I guess it might start with, uh, I got, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, uh, and I tend to get overly sensitive to emotional triggers when I'm tired, or when I haven't, uh, had enough sleep. Like, I don't actually feel tired right now, I'm, I feel actually kind of okay, as far as, like, alertness, but that doesn't mean that I'm not, you know, tired, it just means that I don't feel it, uh, but yeah, with that, uh, my barriers for like self-control and stuff kind of go down. So I tend to be, uh, I tend to respond a little more towards uh, different emotional things. In particular, um, before I left for work, I ended up finding a, a death cab for a cutie song that I haven't heard before. And uh, it really stuck for some reason. And uh, it made me kind of miss all these other Death Cab for Cutie songs that I haven't heard in a long time. And I haven't listened to actually any of their music for a long time. And after I got home from work, I was listening to it some more. And at some point, it just broke down some other barrier inside me that I guess I didn't know was there, or, uh, I don't know. It was just sort of building up for a while, and I didn't really see how it would end, and eventually just sort of built up to critical mass, and I actually ended up, uh, kind of breaking down crying a little bit earlier. Now, crying is kind of another one of those things where I don't like to admit it, but it's Unfortunately, one of those things that, for whatever reason, happens to... It seems like it happens to me more often. If not happens to me, at least I admit it more. Uh, I don't like, like, macho stereotypes and stuff like that. But it seems like guys try to guard themselves more. Um, I notice that all over the place. I'm guilty of it myself, but not because I actually want to, but because it's another one of those subconscious wanting to fit in with my environment thing and uh, things. And so I try to behave like the rest of all the other guys that I see out there and try to do the whole guarding thing. And I don't really know how to break myself over that because, again, it's even though I'm aware of it consciously, it happens subconsciously. It's almost like a reflex. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really unaware of my own emotions with things. But, uh, yeah, that one song, though, really ate me up today. I don't know why. There's just something about how it hit me inside. Uh, if, if anyone who watches this is curious, it was called uh, Grapevine Fires. Uh, grapevine, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was one word. Yeah, it's Grapevine Fires by uh, Death Cab for Cutie. And, uh, I mean, I like the song. I love all their music. They're a wonderful band. Um, and they sound so great. And they have such a peaceful sound to them. But I can't really listen to them positively anymore, really. They just kind of come across as very... It's not so much the music either, it's just how I take it in. I take it in as very depressing. Um, I just respond to it very negatively uh, in that way. But I'll listen to it because I like it. It, it sounds good. you know. So, I don't know. I'll figure out where this negative response is coming from, and I'll try to break that down so I can actually enjoy their music for what it is. Um... But yeah, that was just kind of like the one 
big weird thing that was going on today. And thing is, aside from that, actually, today was pretty good. I had work from noon to four. Got to work with uh, this one guy that uh, I'm apparently good at working with. I don't know. Um, you know, I guess we make a good team, but it was a Sunday, so literally nothing was going on. So we just kind of had a lot of uh, one-on-one -on -one talk time, which was kind of cool because I hadn't really gotten to know him. i just been working with him. Um, made a Slim Jim pizza. That was interesting. Tried making a stuffed crust pizza, too. That didn't work out so well. Uh, but yeah, work was actually... I enjoyed it. I, it sounds weird to say that I enjoyed work, but I was only there for four hours, and you know, I was doing my job. It's not like I was just trying to enjoy myself. It was just, uh, you know, the company helps. And, uh, you know, it's not like my job's hard or anything. I just, you know, tidy some stuff up here and there and stock up things. And I'm not technically supposed to help out with the pizzas, but because I'm good at it, they let me. Um, but yeah, work was actually pretty good. And I woke up, again, I think a lot of this emotional stuff that's coming in today is just because I didn't really get a whole lot of sleep in, and I know this about myself. I actually kind of knew. I've known for a while. I just haven't had it in a while, just because I've actually been sleeping okay until recently, that uh, I respond more sensitively towards emotional things when I'm tired. Um, kind of like how I'm sure at least everybody's had one experience where when you stay up late enough, it gets to the point eventually in the night when... Uh, sorry when everything just seems funny. The stupidest little things will make you laugh out loud, uh, non-stop, like till you lose your breath, those kind of things. It's kind of like that, where you just... I just kind of lost myself, I guess. <sighs> I think this was kind of going somewhere else. I wanted to go somewhere else with this, and I'm not really sure where. But uh, it seems like a lot of stuff going on now seems to be getting better, but my outlook on things can't help but be bad. I, I don't know what it is. I, I can't help but see things negatively. Um, and I say negative just because of how it makes me feel. Not to say that it is outright negative, it's just if I can't feel good about it, I have to deem it as negative. Like, it just seems natural. Like Positive things are good feelings, and negative things are bad feelings. I just keep getting those negative you know, vibes from everything going on. And I feel like for so long now I've just been playing happy. Or playing content. And I guess I am. I can say it realistically. I am content. I'm not dead. Um, we're not living in a gutter or anything like that. Um, and I don't want to be that guy who's like, who, who people tell us, like, well, you should consider yourself lucky considering other people or, you know, whatever. I have it worse. I don't like those analogies. Honestly, that that doesn't seem like a good way to look at yourself. That's like trying to make yourself positive through fear. Like you have to, you know, look at other people's misery to make yourself feel better about yourself. To think, well, at least I'm not that. That just seems wrong to me. Um, and that's just me. I, I don't know. And I was once told by uh, a pretty reliable and honest friend of mine that uh, I had depression. Like she had identified it as depression. And I reacted wrongly in that moment. I reacted to it as if it was an accusation and not an observation. But, uh, and I honestly, I still don't know. I think the verdict for me is still out on that one. I really don't know. I wouldn't know what depression would be because uh, no one's ever outright told me that I had it, and honestly, there's no one that can tell me that I don't. So, I don't know. Uh, if that's what it seems like I have, then okay. Uh, you know, it does not really seem like it's affecting my life too much. I mean, I'm, just, I'm not dead. I mean, that's like the one thing I can keep saying about uh, any situation is that uh, I'm not dead. I'm not very good at answering that question when people ask me, like, oh, how are you doing? How have things been? I have to actually take a couple seconds to think about it. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's this one. I wanted this to go in some other direction, but uh, I have a painful knack of dancing around the point of a lot of things. So, yeah, that's this one. Uh, I'll try to be a little more positive next time.